All right, so it's late winter right now, uh, and we're only about 15 minutes outside of town. Uh, we're about an hour from Bristol, maybe 30 minutes from Johnson City. Uh, there's many other towns in this area. We're not far from Bluff City. One of the awesome things about this is, this is our first time ever coming here. We were told by a few locals, hey, why don't you guys go up and do a little fishing? Some call it Little Wilbur Lake, some call it Wilbur Lake, some call it Wilbur Reservoir. What we call it is a great place for families to come out here and catch trout. Why? It's very easy. We don't even have trolling rods. We're just sitting out here with spinning rods and we're catching rainbow after rainbow after rainbow, our first time ever fishing this lake. Hopefully the last hour of the day is gonna produce some epic action here on Rainbow Trout in East Tennessee. What is that? Oh, it's, it's a rainbow. rainbow, not bad. Good looking fish. It's a rainbow. Nice colors to it. Not, uh, haven't caught anything too big yet, but this is, it's getting better, so. Nice rainbow, hit on the spinner. So this Potsky fire gel stuff here, this is good. I mean, it's so, the scent on it is just amazing. I mean, you dip your hook in it, all you gotta do is dip a glob in your hook, and the stuff's gonna stay in the whole time. So, you know, you just take your spinner, you don't wanna put it on the blade or your spinner, or your blade won't spin too well, but you just take your hook in the bottom end of your spinner, and just dip it in it, just like that. Okay, and that's all you gotta do. And you're gonna be able to smell that on your bait the entire night. Have you seen the fish yet? No, nope. he's not a monster, though. Right in front of the waterfall. Yeah. He's a lake trout. Nope, rainbow. That's a rainbow? That's actually a pretty rainbow. Nice. Getting a good evening bite here going. Took us a little while to figure it out. This isn't a monster, but we can catch you a lot. Let's fish. be honest, by a little while, he said it took him a little while. An hour. Oh. Lake trout. Another lake trout. This is kind of interesting. These are some lake trout. They don't yeah. stock lake trout in here. We were told by TWRA that they actually come through the dam and get in here, but real interesting. Wait till you see this thing. This is a lake trout. We've actually, we've got some that have been bigger, but this is just a little guy. Wow. So uh, we're running some shark juice fire dyed minnows on this homemade spinner rig I tied up. Uh, we just have a blade. We just took a blade and a stem and I tied a little treble hook just behind it, about an inch behind it. And we're gonna tip this minnow. Okay. And we got eight pound test leader on here. We got a little black barrel swivel, a couple split shot, and we're just putting it, casting it about 50 feet behind the boat. Oh my gosh, look at that thing in the water. That's the meat rig. That is the meat rig. Put it about 50 feet behind the boat, troll about a mile an hour just so that blade spins and it sinks probably about 10 feet down. We're in about 15 feet of water. You just want to troll slow. Now you can do this out of a kayak. If you have one of the Hobie Pros, you can do this out of a little rowboat. You can do this you know, pretty much out of any kind of boat. It's real simple fishing. We're just putting the line straight behind the boat, just moving nice and slow and having some good action on rainbows out here. Oh, he's jumping back there. <laughs> I'm looking back and I just start seeing a fish jumping and I look at my rod and my rod starts going. It's not a big one. Oh man, not a bad one. It is not a, a rainbow though, it's not a lake trout. He's not a monster, but I don't know. Nope. Rainbow. Oh, oh. It's in there. Oh. Well, we're catching a lot of rainbows like this. We've had some good action here today. Just trolling spinners with uh, fire bait, uh, tipped with fire bait, fire gel, and uh, fire dyed minnows. So we're getting some fish. Nice evening bite we got going on here. Uh oh, Kyle's getting out the net. Hoop this one. <laughs> Fighting time. I don't know how big he is yet. It's, a, oh, it's another lake. Is it another lake trout? Another lake trout. Oh man, got excited on the chartreuse minnow on the meat rig. 
What's incredible to us is, remember, this is our first time being here, but we talked to our friends at TWRA and they said they don't even stock lake trout here. But you know what? We've caught almost a dozen already. Incredible. What do we got? Okay. This is the fire dye minnow meat rig, meat as, rig. as Kyle calls it. It's meat rig. We have not seen it yet. It's a meat rig. Looks like, is that another lake trout? I don't know, it kind of looks like. It kind of looks like a lake trout. It is a lake trout. You gotta be kidding me. Dude, not a bad What the? For what we've caught. Okay. Chartreuse mm -hmm. fire dyed meat rig. Bam! Oh man. One of the best producing baits that we've had here today are spinners and we're tipping them with fire bait. We're rolling it up like kind of like a worm tail and we're tipping our spinners with them. It's been really productive. So we just got a little chunk of fire bait here. This might even be a little too much. I'm just gonna take that off. Well, I don't know about the size of a, it's about all you need. And you can trim it up and make it however long you want. I'm just gonna roll it up like some Play-Doh or something. You can roll this up any shape. But anyway, so okay, so this is the tail. Now I'm gonna take my hook. I'm just gonna hook this on the hook here. I'm gonna hook it once. I'm gonna bring back over. I'm gonna hook it twice. And I'm gonna kind of mold it down. Okay. That's perfect. Now, before I cast this out, I'm just gonna hold it here in the water for about 20 seconds. Let that, what happens with that fire bait is when you put it in the water, it's just gonna kind of mold around your hook and it'll stay on. So you can see how that tail, how that tail is just turning and it's whipping. And the trout just go nuts for that stuff. It's been one of our best producers here today. Looking good. Got a head shake. Looking good. If it's another lake trout, you're buying dinner. We got a banging bite going on right now. As soon as we get them out there, they get bit. This is on the fireworm. I got news for you. It might be a lake trout. Oh no. Oh no. Is it, <laughs> is it a lake trout? Oh no. No lake trout in here, but guess what folks? We've caught one uh, You don't have another. to buy dinner, but just show everybody what that looks like. I mean, this is every lake trout. They're all about this size. One after another. You know, most people in Tennessee have never heard of Wilbur Reservoir. It's also known as Little Wilbur Lake. Uh, it's also known as Watauga Tailwater. This place is one of the most beautiful places in all of Tennessee. And it's obvious why. It's surrounded by the Cherokee National Forest and not far from the Appalachian Mountains. Um, what it's here for is it's a dammed portion uh, of the Watauga River. And it can be one of the best fisheries in East Tennessee. Now, a lot of people talk about the monster trout that they catch here. We were not fortunate to catch monsters. Uh, we caught a lot of smaller fish, but we were fortunate to hit it on a day after a, a snowstorm. You can see beautiful landscapes around here. There's actually a waterfall that comes into the lake. Now, we've only been here in late winter. We don't know if that flows in summer or fall, but right now it's absolutely stunning. We also found a couple of bears walking on. You know, we have a little bit of a video for it that was taken almost a half mile away. You can see a little bit of, you know, a black bear kind of walking through the mountains. But boy, what a great time we had catching trout. Now, TWA stocks 6,000 trout here from March all the way through July. It's a pretty fantastic fishery. And they also stock from August to December when they put a thousand total brood fish in. They average 18 inches and those fish grow big and grow fast. Now, we trolled this lake several different ways. Now, we didn't have a boat that was rigged up for trolling. We grabbed our spinning rods that we used down in the river and we just rigged them up, put them out the back and trolled. Now, you'll see us troll spinners tipped with live chartreuse fire dye minnows. They absolutely crushed those things. They also crushed um, but mostly what appeared to be MEPS and Blue Fox spinners that were tipped with uh, chartreuse as well. Uh, and we also tip them with fire bait. That was kind of the hot bait of the day. We took our peach garlic and garlic salmon egg fire bait, we molded it into a worm, put it on the back, and as soon as we started doing that, the scent just created tons of strikes. The only other thing we did is we grabbed spinners, trolled them out the back, and put mostly trout and garlic fire gel on there. All those techniques brought tons and tons of fish to the boat. Really, in a short period of time, we came here the last hour of the day one day, and then came back the last two hours of the day the next day and caught fish after fish after fish. Most of those were rainbows. And we caught some lake trout as well, which really surprised us considering they don't stock lake trout in here. 
They do stock lake trout on Watauga Reservoir upstream, which means those lake trout are obviously coming through the dam, being released in here and living in Little Wilbur. Now we didn't catch any monsters, but uh, probably a half dozen lake trout the first day, another half dozen the second day while we were fishing for rainbows. So if you're looking for a beautiful place here in Tennessee to come up here and troll, there's great campgrounds, there's great picnic areas, fabulous facilities. It's a perfect place for you to get your trout fix. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.